EAT is an acronym that stands for Expertise, Authoritativeness, and Trustworthiness. And this represents a new thing that Google has started looking at on websites where they're programmatically evaluating if your website represents the content that you're talking about in a way that an expert would talk about it, in a way that is authoritative, in a way that is trustworthy. And so one of the things I see come up a lot around EAT is I'll hear somebody say, well, my site seems to have lost traffic and been negatively ranked by Google's EAT factors, but I'm an expert. Look at all the degrees I have. Look at all the credentials I have. Look at all the certifications. Look at all the years of experience I have. Look at all the people I've worked with, whatever it is, right? And they're trying to say, well, I am an expert. Why doesn't Google think I am? And the reason I bring up that example is that when it comes to EAT, it's not about the traditional things that humans would think are uh, factors that go into how much of an expert you are, how authoritative you are, or how trustworthy you are. Instead, it's about making sure that those things are represented in a way that Google can understand those, which does mean that EAT has a lot to do with backlinks, has a lot to do with your website's content, has a lot to do with how you're presenting yourself online. So if you do have a lot of that experience, great, make sure it's shown online. Great, make sure that people are linking to you. Make sure that people are actually talking about you. Make sure people are actually discussing how great you are. Make sure that they're actually putting that out there. The other aspect to EAT is that this really does mean that the content on your website needs to be written at an expert level. So if you're running, the example is a medical practice, right? These are the sites that were most affected by this. If you're running a medical website, the content needs to be written by a doctor. A lot of sites that lost out on traffic and rankings within the EAT updates from Google were sites that had their medical content written by non-medical professionals. In a lot of cases, they hired somebody who was really cheap, who could just crank out a lot of content for them. Google is smart enough now to pick up on that and understand that there's differences in content written by non-experts and experts, and they're going to distinguish that and they're going to give favor to the sites written by experts, which makes sense. That's the kind of stuff that you'd want to see in search results, certainly stuff I want to see in search results. So Google's trying to think through that. That's not to say that their rollout of EAT is perfect, far from it, but it is to say that you want to start thinking about how you can best represent yourself and best represent your company within your content and within your presence online.